uh, QPR fan, Players TV, Home Away. We've got big QPR fan, Chris Kemp. How you doing, mate? Hi, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Uh, just a quick couple of questions, mate. How do you think the season's gone so far for QPR? I've been really pleased, to be honest. I yeah. think we've done really, really well. Well exceeded expectations. Oh, yeah. so I yeah. genuinely thought we'd be, we'd be bottom six. Um, I think Mark Wilburton's an absolute genius. Um, I think he's done really, really well for us to be the best manager we've had for a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, at present, we, we are playing all right. It's still a long way to go, but it's, it's a, it seems to be a quite a good start for us. Yeah, I think performance-wise, um, we've, done, we've done really well. Yeah. We've played pretty much the best football I've seen for a long time, pretty much every day, apart from maybe West Brom. Um, yeah. Even the games we've lost, like... Well, Cardiff away, I mean, they've yeah. got a standing ovation. The scoreline didn't reflect the game, as you know yourself. Exactly. I mean, we played really well there, but I think nothing for it, but that's football, as you know. Um, just a quick thing with going tonight's game, um, what, how do you think tonight will go? How do you think we'll get tonight? If the Sky cameras weren't here, I would have fancied us tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think we still might show you, I'm going to go for 2 1. 2 1? Okay, mate, thank you very much. I'll let you go now so you can have a look in the old uh, club shop for the double cash day and that. Um, and that's it for myself, DJ Ranger, Chris Kemp, at QPR Club Shop at the Crime Prince Foundation, ahead of the QPRV Reading game tonight. Thank you for your prediction for tonight's game as well. You're right, mate. Nice to see you. DJ Ranger, Chris Kemp, QPR Fan Play TV, Radley. Come on, you arts. Uh, keep our fans play CV home and away with Matthew and Mason Parker. How are you doing, lads? Yeah, not too bad, DJ. Thank you, man. Uh, a bit Thank early you. before kick-off, but um, obviously due to different things, work, etc., coming down here. Um, what are you reckon on the season so far? I think we're doing really, really well. Really Better good. than expected, to be fair, from you. Yeah, 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 I think uh, uh, from the few people I spoke to so far regarding the season so far, they've all said, you know, you know they've tend to been playing really well. Even when we've lost, we've kind of really played well in, all right, maybe the West Brom Swansea game. Maybe we deserve to get beat, but the Cardiff game went in. Like, we got yeah. standing ovation at Cardiff, and considering the result was 3 0. But for the people who watched it and actually went, it went a 3 0 game. But there you go, you don't score goals, you don't win games, you know. But um, yeah, so it's a good start. Hopefully, we can carry on. Um, who's been your standout player so far? Um, it's free for me, to be fair. Okay, yeah. Eze, I think Lyson's done a good job as well. Lyson, yeah. for me. I think he's been a standout. Well, since he came in the sub, I mean, it was earlier on in the season at home, he's the input for Rob. Yeah, input for Rob. Millwall Waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's cool. been solid, honestly. Solid. So you've got Eze, Leisner, and who's your third one? And Manning. Manning. And what about Manning you, Mason? Uh, yeah, same. Same name? Three players. Manning. Okay. I think if them, them three players perform, mate, we could beat anybody. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and obviously, with guys to tonight's game, we're obviously Reading at home. Um, they've just got their first win under the belt, they're going to be a bit confident, but we should be we're at home, I think we're playing sort of front tonight, yeah. I see. Yeah, um, yeah. What do you reckon on the scoreline tonight? Well, I'm, 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 considering we've not had a clean sheet, I'm going 3-2, but... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going 3-2 again. You're going 3-2? 3-2 again, yeah. Mate, I'm going 2-0, first clean sheet this season. 3-2, three, 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 three. Matthew, Mason's going 2-0, clean sheet, I'm going for a home win, hopefully. Um, that's it, I'm sorry. What's, what's your score prediction, Dino? Tonight? I can't say keeping the clean sheet personally. Yeah. So I'm going to go. I could be another mad one. I'm going to go three two. Three like, two. Like Saturday. Yeah. Um, I did predict three one, and I thought we were going to get it. But normally I go like, at home, even you know, be cautious. But as you never know with us, we you know, put it up anyway. We turn up, as you know. Yeah. But this season has been a bit different. I think. But what I think we've 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 lacked in previous seasons is that when we've gone ahead and then conceded is that we, we, we get the ball back yeah, and we yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even like going, going well, behind this season years. as well, like, well, even like two though. or three times this season we've gone behind and we've actually come back and actually won the game with it, I think. Absolutely. You know, um, yeah, but thanks guys anyway. That's all right. Um, yeah. So off DJ Ranger, Mason and Matthew Parker for QPR fans, players TV home away at the Crime Prince Foundation ahead of the QPRV Reading game tonight. Come on, you guys. You guys. Back here, I find the first TV. Home the way. It's on the ground, ladies. How you doing, mate? Right. 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 QPR, be ready at the Quiet Bridge Foundation Stadium. Hopefully, we'll um, pick up another three points tonight after the good win away at home. But this division is quite mad, as you know yourself. I'm going to go for another home win. I'm going to go 3 2 again. Well, 3 1, actually. I don't know, last Saturday. But I'm going to go 3 2. I think they'll be goals. I'm going to go for another home win. What about you, Neil? I'm going for an average. They are? Six or seven. If we get another goal... That we'll probably concede. But... I mean, if we get another goal, that could quite easily happen. And yeah. I think it will happen this season. Yeah. The way we're playing. Let's just see. Let's just see. Yeah, but yeah, we can only see. Take it to game as it comes. Anyway, that's it myself. DJ Reigns, I do worry. At the Fire Prince Foundation Stadium. Before the QPR being ready. Live on Sky. Come on, you are. You are.
a few of our fans play as TV over the way. One who were at half time. Um, not been the best I've asked. I don't think things have been going like they have been in the past week for that's football, you know. Sometimes they don't go for you. Obviously, hopefully, get safe from the game. But still, I thought we didn't play the best side in the, better side in the first half overall. But, you know, it's one all in. Um, what do you reckon, Neil? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yep, that's it. That score six in itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he gains six one. <laughs> as you know, another non clean sheet again. But as long as we keep scoring and winning, that's the main thing. Yeah, so DJ Ranger, Neil Aaron, in the wide block, QPR, are Reading at Fire and Fred Foundation. So one all. Come on you all. Big second I've done. Our QBR fans plays TV home and away. Um, not long back in from the game against Reading down at the Kyle and Prince Foundation Stadium. Um, what can, where, where do I start? Um, obviously, we weren't up to our normal standard that we have been playing in recent weeks. Obviously, that's down to numerous things in my personal thoughts and opinions. Um, you know... It was our own standards, but also Reading. Obviously, Reading had a game plan, and obviously it worked for them. Um, so, obviously, you know, that's the idea. They they saw they sort of sussed out, stopped us from playing, you know, get stuck in, in our faces, stuff like that, and it worked for them. And obviously, they, they play some good football themselves, to be honest with you. Um, you know, so, you know, obviously, you, you have to look at the, how the waiting set up and how they play. You know, they could have quite easily got a winner in the end as well, kind of thing. Um, so a point, you know, ain't too bad, you know, um, considering. Looking at the other results tonight, you know, obviously a win it would have been better. Um, but as you know, this division is quite hard. So irrespective of position in the table, you know what I mean? You know, there's no easy teams. You know, on paper, you, you, you may think you should beat these teams, but as you see yourself, Results show. It's it's not always like that. 
Um, another point for the game tonight. I mean, normally, you know, we get Ryan Manning, Rangel, whoever it is, bombing down the wings, putting the crosses in for whoever. He hardly got across the halfway line tonight, in my opinion, Manning. I think maybe in the second half he might have done a little bit more. But, no, nah, they, they, they put a stop to that. They were getting in Eze's face. They were fouling him and stuff. You know, which broke up our kind of our momentum, our fluidity with the ball as and when. Um, yeah, so so obviously I have to uh, credit Reading a little bit for that. They come and done a job on us and got a point out of it. Um, uh, I can't say whether it was a penalty. We should have been with the penalty, and then I overheard someone saying that um, one of their players kind of caught. Rangel in the face, maybe he should have been sent off, but you know, it's all with some butts. I haven't seen any um, replays of it, so I can't really say. But obviously, the ref didn't give it. The linesman, possibly, I think, was did actually signal for a penalty, but obviously, the ref didn't give it. But can't blame the ref or the linesman. You know, obviously, um, they've made the decision, we've got to get on with it. Um, that's about it. My thoughts and views for the game, ladies and gents. I mean, obviously, we've got Brentford next Monday on Sky. Um, hopefully, we'll play a bit better because, you know, otherwise it could be um, on the end of a defeat, which ain't a problem because, obviously, we are, we will lose games this season, you know, like every other team in, that, in the division. Um, yeah, that's it for myself. Ladies and gents, for QR fans and players TV, home away. DJ Ranger, I'm out of here. Come on, you ours.